Hi, are you about to purchase a CT2000 bidet or a CT2000R, uh, but you have a few questions? Well, this video is for you. So for the questions that you might have, will the elongated model or the round front model fit my bidet? So that's a question that a lot of customers ask. So all you have to do is uh, you have to measure the distance between the front of the toilet tank and the front lip of your toilet. So for this example, we have uh, 56 centimeters or 22 inches. And then after that, you have to choose the correct size. So we have two sizes. We have the round front size, which is the small size, and it measures about 40, uh, about 49 centimeters in length and we have our elongated size and the elongated size measures about 53 centimeters in length and for more information you can always check out the sizing guide on our main website cleantouch.ca so this bidet comes with all the accessories you need to install the bidet so there's no need for you to go out and buy extra accessories so what's included is a half inch hose, a T connector. Now this T connector um, on two sides, it's three eighths of an inch. And on the third side, it's half inch. And uh, these two sides would go to your water intake uh, at the wall. And this would go from here to the bidet. Also, it comes with a mounting plate and everything you need to uh, to firmly attach this mounting plate onto your toilet. So with the, it comes with the two rubber mounting bolts, the metal brackets, and of course, the screws with the washers. Another question that a lot of customers ask is, does this bidet use electricity? And the answer is, uh, yes it does. So it has a, a three prong cord, and this cord is about 1.2 meters or four feet, and it's located on the right side of the bidet. Uh, so hopefully your outlet receptacle is also on the right side. Uh, preferably you would want to plug it into a dedicated circuit and not a circuit that is shared with the lights because for some older houses, uh, if the bidet is plugged into the circuit with the lights, when the bidet is powered on and the water heater is activated, the bidet draws power and it causes the lights to become dimmer. Um, and when the heater turns off, then the light uh, becomes normally bright again. So the thing is the heater inside, it turns on and off, on and off to maintain the water temperature at a steady temperature, uh, the temperature which you sit at, which you set the temperature at. So it can, off, it can often cause the uh, light to blink in older houses. For some other houses, it will be completely fine. So just a recommendation, you should definitely try to plug the bidet into a dedicated circuit. Uh, and this is actually a North, North American standard, so it uses the 110 volts. Uh, another question is, the, do we need to have a cold water line and a hot water line for this bidet? Uh, so this bidet has a water tank inside that heats up the cold water. So all you actually need is just one cold water line uh, connected to the bidet, and the bidet can heat up the water and provide you with warm water. Uh, and how long does the warm water last? Well, the wash cycle for this bidet is one minute. And during that one minute, um, there's enough water to last for the minute, uh, warm water. Uh, but if you want to use another wash cycle right away, uh, the water inside the tank, it won't have enough time to heat up. So as you use it for a second or third or even fourth time, the temperature will start to drop slightly. Um, but because the heater in the bidet is pretty powerful, you will never get like a just a straight room temperature water, but it would always be slightly heated. Um, but for your initial cycle, uh, wash cycle, it would be a, pretty much a constant temperature. So this bidet also comes with a dryer as well. So this is the dryer vent right here. 
and it blows uh, warm air to dry your bottom. And uh, the thing is, it's not exactly like a uh, hand dryer. Uh, it will take uh, maybe two to three minutes to completely dry your bottom. Uh, this is because it's kind of like a safety feature. We don't want the temperature to be too high in case of um, low temperature burns. And this bidet also is equipped with uh, memory function. So whatever water pressure, water temperature, and uh, even the air dry that you set, um, the bidet will remember it. So the next time you use it, you don't need to set the uh, settings again. It would automatically uh, run the cycle with the previous settings. So these are all the functions that come with the bidet. So one thing to notice is that it doesn't have a proper medically approved anema function, but it does have a pulse function that pulses the water. And uh, it's kind of like a massage and it helps uh, people have an easier time in the washroom. This bidet is also uh, equipped with a slow close seat, as you can see here, and a slow close lid like so. Uh, two important things to note. Number one, this lid is uh, not designed for people to sit on or stand on and so I would highly suggest nobody to sit on the lid or, or else it would crack. As well as if the lid is up, I would suggest people do not lean back on the lid as well. Uh, because it does have a slow closing mechanism, it is quite fragile. Uh, as well, um, this seat is equipped with a seat sensor. So this is to prevent the bidet from spraying when nobody's sitting on it. So before you try to press um, the functions on the remote or on the side, make sure somebody is sitting on the bidet first with the bare skin touching this part of the bidet. And then once the bidet senses that there's skin contact, then all the functions will work.